Now then, and welcome back to another episode of The Cobblenauts. On the Forever Stranded Lost Souls server, yesterday, yesterday, in fact, it was yesterday, yesterday, we set up and went out to the overworld in the episode, and I'm back in the nether today, as you can see, and I've just noticed a strange block behind me. Hang on, I've got to fix this, I don't know what, I, I don't know why that's there. Is that meant to be there? Or is that kind of like somebody misplaced it? I don't want to touch it just in case because it's not my build. I know System Collapse has done lots of work over here fancying it up. And it's almost like that one block is kind of out of place. It's hiding a lamp controller. Is it? Is it a lamp? Maybe it's a lamp? Nope. Let's not touch it just in case I turn anything on in there. Best leave it alone, haven't I? Right, so anyway... <laughs> Today, because we're over in the overworld, I wanted to get some flight sorted out. Now, uh, Angel Wings is the kind of the go-to and has been for a long time with any pack that has um, extra utilities too in it. But of course, being that this is a heavily modified recipe pack, that is the recipe for an Angel Ring. Yeah. Quite a lot of lassoes with bats in and then rings of the flying squid and a ring of the chicken wing, which we've already got. And then some cursed lassoes with gas in, right? Uh, and that requires an extreme crafting table, which is crystal matrix ingots, which is diamond lattice and nether stars. Well, if you've been keeping up with the cobblenauts, you'll know that we've been killing with the bosses. There's an area for it and the nether stars are available. And the diamond lattice is, well, they're not too bad. So... It's not impossible going down that route of extreme casting. It's just a bit of a pain in the butt to go and get everything, right? So I had a look to see what the other ones are, like the Wither Wings and all that, right? And uh, they don't seem to need the extreme crafting. They they don't seem to need the extreme crafting at all. So the Chicken Wing we did the other day. We get a chicken and a lasso. We do that. That gives us kind of like um, glide flight, right? The... Squid ring, we just need a squid and a golden lasso, which we've got access to now. We've got into the overworld and some black dye and a chicken wing ring. Yeah, easy. And then we just get a ghast and a bat in there and it should give us an angel ring. Now, whether or not that angel ring works is going to be the next thing. We don't know if it's going to work or whether we need to convert an angel ring into an angel ring bauble. See, I don't know. Uh, that angel ring to bauble recipe Requires us to make an angel ring that way. So while it is possible to do the long-winded way, I think I'm going to try and do the cheaty short way because the recipe is still there. Sheridan may change that again once he's seen this episode <laughs> and make it so everyone's forced to do the extreme crafting. And the extreme crafting, to be fair, isn't too long-winded. It's just a matter of time, isn't it? Uh, I mean, Rings of the Flying Squid, making lots and lots of those. It's quite, quite an ordeal of a crafting recipe. To make it all happen. But anyway, I've been making some golden lassoes. Now, golden lassoes are not available for crafting. Like, um, you can't see a lasso recipe. You can't see it in here. It's not a possible. You can see the um, cursed lasso. 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 Depends where you come from. We say lasso. You say lasso. Um, the golden lasso doesn't have a recipe. Because JEI hasn't picked up a recipe. But this is the recipe from the good old days of uh, Extra Utilities. It used to be in uh, NEI, but now it's not in JEI for some reason. It does need you to be at a crafting bench because it requires like eight, I think it's eight, uh, eight experience levels. We'll see. I'm on 34 experience levels. Take one. Yeah, eight experience levels. So it needs to be in a normal crafting recipe, normal crafting grid, so that it can take levels from the user at the same time as such right and i'm just going to create a whole stack's worth that was a stack of string and a stack of gold nuggets worth of golden lassoes right uh, and i stood down here by the xp farm just so that i could uh, make them all without having to worry at all uh, and then well i guess i'm just gonna curse a couple of them and get some gas i don't know when oh hector's turned up when did he come in hey hector uh, Hector came on. Oh, I see. Hello, Hector. Hector came on. This looks nice. Still work in progress. Yes. We've been working on stuff. 
<laughs> We've been working on stuff for a little while over in the overworld. Jans is actually doing some cool work over there. So we'll go and see that in a bit. I just wanted to get this bit started, right? I'm going to get... I don't think I want six. Let's get four. Uh, yeah, I want... I want to make sure that I've got enough in case I have to do it the long way around, right? So we would have four cursed lasso. So we get four of these, and we just put four of these together and make four coast, 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 four cursed lassos, uh, lassos. And I'm going to go and capture some ghast because the ghast all love me because of my um, charm versus las, uh, charm versus ghast. They're not going to be a problem to just walk up to and get. Uh, I do need my jetpack on for this stage, though. So, it's still kind of progression. Wait, wait, oh, no, my, de my jetpack. My jetpack's there. That's my jetpack. My hardened jetpack, that's right. Yes, okay. Somebody nicely put it into the box for me. I think I left it in the energy uh, filler. And uh, somebody kindly put it into the box for me so I wouldn't lose it. Very good. Thank you, whoever that was. Uh, let's go and get some gas. He's a rare, hungering ghast, the swift one. Okay, so I've got to, I've got to beat him up a little bit first. I've got to reduce him from 58 hearts to five hearts. Is he still going to leave me alone? Yes, he is. Awesome. So my, my charm allows me just to beat him up a little bit, and then capture him. Yeah. Are we speedy? He's a sprint sapper, or is he the? this swift one and it saps my sprint. I don't know, but he's going faster than I can fly. Stop it. He's at 48 hearts. Okay, so I'm going to have to do a lot of hitting. I guess I'll see when I get down to it where he is. Come on. I'm not a fast enough flyer right now. Come back here, Gasty. Oh, gas chasing. I'm going to get you. I am getting some kind of noxious effect on him. Still can't see his heart yet, though. <laughs> Chasing the ghast around. So noisy. Stop it. Come back. I need to see your hearts. How many hearts you want? 19 hearts. Get in there. Come on. I'm getting you. I'm getting you. Now, gotcha. <laughs> got him. Okay, so we're over here in the overworld. Just got myself a squid in a lasso. And now we're getting the ring of the flying squid. Jet propulsion at your fingertips. So, I should. I don't have anything on that should allow me to do anything. But I can, I can squid jump. Look, I can kind of squid jump. It's jet propulsion squid jump. Which is kind of okay, isn't it? Kind of okay. Um, I then have the bat and the ghast here. I don't know if that's a thing that I can do straight away, so let's have a look. Um, it's the angel ring. Uh, with chicken wings? With feathers? Or do I want bat wings? I don't know what I want, actually. Uh, let's go with that. right? And then craft one. Okay, I get the lassoes back. And now this angel ring is not going to work. Oh, I can make it into a bauble ring like that. Okay, so then put it into my bauble slot. Uh, there. Cool. And now, angel flight. No. <laughs> okay, so it's probably because I don't have enough grid power. It uses 32, and we don't have enough grid power at the moment. So I need to make myself some grid power that will be up to the 32. But I, it felt like the other rings were working properly. So, should be good. And this looks pretty awesome. And so does Janice's build as well. Look, look, uh, check it out. He's uh, been building, building, building. That's probably part of his episode. So check out his episode uh, very, very soon. Yes? Go, go, do it now. Okay, back in the nether. Um, I think the simplest, the simplest kind of like grid system that we've worked on before was water mills. They give four GP per adjacent flowing block, I believe. Which is quite a lot. It does quite a lot. Uh, the fire ones and the lava ones, we've got the lava ones already installed downstairs. And that's doing wireless RF um, and that kind of stuff. It's doing some work for us, but it's not doing enough work for us. Uh, so I'm going to get as many water mills as I can. 
Well, there's ten. That's a good start, isn't it? They, they, someone must have made a lot of these redstone gears ready for stuff. And we must have had a lot of stone burnt ready. That's all I can say. And then head on back over to the overworld. So I don't exactly know what the... What the... Um, okay, I don't exactly know what this is in here. Um, I was planning on setting my water mills up over here, right? On this little island, just away from the portal just there. Janice is doing all the work over there. I was just going to set up something over here. But then I saw something in the water. So um, it's a, it's a shark-like thing. And, and he's coming to get me. It's a hammerhead shark. And he's, he's, he's after me. He's after me. Does he hurt? I bet he hurts. <laughs> he can't quite get me on this little level here, though. I can kind of punch this hammerhead shark to death. He's got 116 health. 115 health. Wow. Okay, he's not exactly the toughest because I've got him stuck. He's primal core. Um, I should probably get something of a weapon out and beat him up with that, shouldn't I? This will probably hit him a bit harder, do a bit more damage, a bit quicker, and get rid. Okay, so, <laughs> with, with the flight thing, right, with the whole flight thing, I've now got it down to this, and I think I'm just going to, I'm going to show you again, because I wanted to make sure that it worked before I, like, started doing all this stuff. I wanted to make sure before I did anything. I can't get the water to go straight down here. Um, I think one there might do it. Nope, not there. One there. Correct. Water correct. I don't suppose it really matters because I'm about to do this kind of stuff anyway. As you can see, I'm flying with wings. Yes, I'm flying with wings. Because now this is getting enough power. I'm generating so much I can fly as well. Which is great stuff. Yeah. Killed the sharks. Killed his buddy as well. Sorted all that out. Uh, but now, how do we get this started? Well, um, a simple thing is every single side that's touching, that's like flowing, is a good thing. So this is currently uh, 9.4, right? So if we put a piece of gravel next to each one, we're going to make sure that each piece is going to do that. And that becomes 12.0, or power generating 13, something like that. And then if we put one of these on each corner, we're generating even more power because this flowing source is flowing to those places there. 6, 10, 11, 7. And all I need to do is just make sure that the power is like flowing properly through all of these. Right? Let's make sure that we get the, the best amount of flowing water into these spots. Right? So we're basically going to isolate it like so and then once i remove these the water will flow into those areas and maximize the generation of flowing water okay there we go so spot loader in place and i noticed that the chunk border was running down here so i've decided to do a little like i don't know it'll be some kind of harbor bridge i guess at some point hiding these things but it just needs to keep this particular chunk here loaded so that this chunk's got those things in, so they're generating that um, GP for the network all the time. Uh, but I did spot something else, though. The reason I can't do the water is literally because water does not make infinite water sources, right? You put one there, uh, let's get another one, and you put another one on the other side. This should become an infinite water source, but in fact, it's not. You have to place a water source there to make it right, which is not good. For me, but it does mean that the whole overworld is going to have problems like that. We're going to have problems with that if we're not careful. So, I've been out hunting. I've been exploring. I haven't explored too much, but I found a site here that I'm hoping is going to be the place. <laughs> so, where am I? Um, follow me over here. Here we go. So, not far from a spawn portal. Okay. I went all the way up, followed it all round, found a little village up here, Astral Fountain, Astral Fountain, came down this way, found a desert, a village, lots of random stuff in the desert, including oasis areas and cool stuff, bits and pieces, bits and pieces, an A2 meteor or two, there's one there, one there, another Astral Fountain back around this way, um, both kinds of Tinker's Island floating around all over the place, more desert down here, I'm just exploring down this way, another village, uh, a little bit more down this way, and I've found something here. 
So not too far away from the portal. Portal's up there. I'm just down here. Not too far away this way. Um, but I don't know if it's the right thing to be looking at. I've marked them all with waypoints. Look, so I've got some decent waypoints to find a way around. Uh, but I haven't started digging this out yet. I know this is astral sorcery marble. And I can see that it's pillars and all that kind of stuff. But what I actually want is a crystal. I've only found the fountain ones. And I know that Valen said in his like tutorial that I've been following um, to find the big astral temple things. Um, right, and I don't know. I don't know if this is one of them. I suppose I should start by digging out the centre bit. Uh, I don't meet the requirements to break this block. Okay. Uh, is that the roof then? Am I? I'm not able to break those blocks, which is good. So I should just be able to wreck the sand all around it and not have to worry about breaking those blocks. That's good. So I can clear it out this way. That's good. Uh, so I'm guessing I have to need to go down then to the sides. Is it one of those underground ones? Ah, oh, it might be one of those that's supposed to be underground. Dang it. Okay, well. There's, there's normally... Oh, there's running water. I can hear running water in there. There's normally like an entrance tunnel towards it in there let's find a way in okay there is there is no clear entrance into it it is just a marble box and that is exactly what i've called it an astral marble box um it it's not got an entrance underneath i've checked underneath i, I came down here and i just like popped away underneath here and i can't see an entrance underneath i can see water so it is going to be one of those like internal boxes where there's a block of ore or something in the middle of it. that When you hit it, you get a random ore. And you keep hitting it, you keep getting random ores. Uh, but as I can't break this block yet, because I haven't got enough magic, I can't be bothered going all the way back just to come and open this up to show you, to be fair. I think, I think this is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a big astral temple to get started on astral sorcery. So I'm going to continue to have a look around. Um, however, for today's episode... Let's see if we can find anything interesting together. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so I found my first llama ever. It's my first llama. Firsty. And there's a uh, black bear. That's primal core, though. That's not uh, Minecraft. This uh, this guy, a llama, is actual Minecraft. I didn't do any... Oh, did I lasso it? I'm about to lasso it. Oh, I'm, I'm riding it. That was, that was a thing. I was riding it for a second there. Um... Can I? Yeah. <laughs> I was riding on a lit. Oh, okay. I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to keep it for another day. I'll put it in my treasure bag with all the other things. Uh, I've actually been finding all of these calculation presses and all that. I'm pretty sure that they've already all been found. So I don't think we're like short of them. But I'll have a copy anyway for the AE2 stuff. Uh, and at the moment, I'm right down... Uh, well, I'm right up here. Um, there's spawn areas right down there. And northeast of spawn, big snowy mountain range. There's another crater over there by the looks of it as well. Uh, there's some ice bits. But I still don't see the big temple that I'm looking for. So I'm going to keep looking for a temple. And uh, report back. It's pretty epic scenery though. Alps foothills. I know in the config file... Uh, for astral sorcery, it says snowy and mountains. I had this problem in my um, in my Horizon Three world where it was just city uh, and I couldn't find it. This biome types have got to pick out a snowy or mountain, and I'm in Alps foothills, so it might not work. I think I might need to uh, I don't know ask Sheridan to change the config to be some biomes of plenty stuff in order to unlock some astral sorcery. I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to continue searching around for a little bit longer. Hey! Ha <laughs> ha! Look at this place. This is on like the other side of the mountain. There's three, three uh, AE meters. Um, three AE meters. Uh, oh, there's a shrine right here. In the meteor site. There's, there's a... Sh oh, but so no crystal. Oh my days. That is not good. That is not good. I was pretty sure there was supposed to be something here. There's there's a constellation paper, but that's it. Oh man. So these have landed in there and Oh three AE meters struck here. 
right where I wanted this to be. Um, this, I presume, had a crystal in it. I don't know for sure. I'm going to ask to ask Valen to come and have a look at it. Uh, but also, an ember shrine up here. And I believe this is where the golems will spawn. Um, currently, not so much. Uh, archaic stones, archaic lights, and all that kind of stuff. An embers thing. But no sign of an actual embers golem spawning down here. Never mind. Um... And then there's... Oh, then there's this. That's a shame, isn't it? I thought this was some sort of temple. At least it means that I might be in the right kind of place. I might be able to find another one somewhere. Oh, there's a golem. There's the golem. Um, I best not get hit because I don't have any armour on. But yeah, that that's the golem there. That's good. Uh, do I have my arrows in here? No, I do not. I do not have anything to beat him up with. So that's not so good then. And I reckon that he's going to pretty much cane me if he can. Um, yeah, so it is spawning. That's good. Okay, we'll keep that. I'm going to keep looking. Hey, I found an igloo. Not found many of these before. Um, I'm not sure where to find stuff in the igloo. Oh, there it is. There's a, there's a trap door. It goes down in the igloo. So vanilla thing this is, I think. Down into the igloo. And then what? What's down here? Oh, oh villager. And a zombie villager <laughs> getting ready for it, right? And there's a potion of weakness, which is to make that villager into another one. And there's a golden apple and a frozen core, snowman drop. Oh, hey, cool. Uh, and a constellation paper. Nice. I'm going to take the frozen core because why not? I don't know what it, exactly it's used for. Um, it's a reliquary item, though. So the uses of it are probably something... Well, it makes snowballs. Make shears of winter... Um, I presume it makes something... Oh, Salamander's Eye. That would be a good thing. And Glacial Staff. And you can grind it down for other potion essences and all that kind of stuff. Cool. Okay, but the Golden Apple and the the thing for curing zombies is the thing that we're after. The Potion Brewing is there, ready. And, uh, yeah, give them an apple. I'm going to leave that there for now. And I'm just going to mark this area so that I'll come back to get the villager at some other time. Uh, what kind of trades you got? Zombie ret rotten flesh for go gold. Not great. And I'm not bothered about him either. But this experimental little thing is pretty cool. Let's keep looking around a little bit more though. Ta-da! I think that's it. I think I found it. I think I found it. Yes. That looks like it might be the thing. Um, it is a pyramid thing. I guess I've got to go down a bit. I'm going to need to get some levels up. Oh, there's, there's down a bit here. Uh, yes, there's a crystal in the middle. That's what I was looking for. That crystal right there. Uh, I wonder if that desert one... Now, that desert one definitely doesn't look like this, does it? So this is the place. This is the place. This is cool. In the box, we've got some random bits and pieces I don't care about. We've got more than enough of that. But that floating crystal is the priority for this Whoa, yes, 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 yes. So the hunt has been on for quite some time. And finally, finally we've found what we're looking for. We've found a snowy biome, a snowy mountain biome. There's an ice spikes biome close by. They both count towards the snowy and mountain to be able to find one of these wonderful astral sorcery places. So we've got wings, we're flying, we're finding the places we need to find. Now our quest can continue in the Cobblenauts. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget all the links in the descriptions. I will see you very soon for some more. Goodbye.